Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the product of powers property for exponents. So we have simplified the following expressions and we're looking at a to the third times a to the fourth power. We have 3x to the sixth times 5x squared and we also have 4y to the 2000 times 6y to the 1200th power. Now for all of these problems we can make use of this product of powers property for exponents where we have a to the b times a to the c equals a to the b plus c. But now by looking at a few simpler examples we can see why this concept is true. So we have a to the third times a to the fourth. Well if we didn't know how to use this product of powers property we could just write out a string of three a's and a string of four a's. And what I mean is we have a times a times a. This represents a to the third power and we're multiplying this by a times a times a times a which would model a to the fourth power. But now we have a string of seven a's, all attached by multiplication, so we know that this equals a to the seventh power. So now a simpler way to do this would be to use this product of powers property. If we did a to the third times a to the fourth using this product of powers property, now all we need to do is look at a to the three plus four, which still gives us a to the seventh power. So now the reason why this property is working is because when we do expand a to the third as a times a times a, and we expand a to the fourth as a times a times a times a, we have a string of three a's and a string of four a's. So altogether we have a string of three plus four a's, all attached by multiplication, therefore we have a to the seventh power. So it's important to see why this equation works if you're going to trust in it when you use it. So now 3x to the sixth times 5x squared. For this one, if we weren't sure of how to use that property for multiplying exponent terms, we could write 3 times 5 times, and now x to the 6th, if we really needed to, we could write this as x times x times x times x times x times x. And now multiplying this by x squared, we would just need to put another x times x. So now, simplifying this expression, we have 3 times 5 is 15, and if we have a string of 6x's followed by a string of 2x's, altogether we have a string of 8x's, all attached by multiplication, so we have x to the 8th power. But now, once again, this product of powers property is really useful for shortening the amount of work you need to do for a problem like this. So if we want to find a second solution for 3x to the 6th times 5x squared, all we need to do is go 3 times 5 is 15, and now x to the 6th times x squared is equal to x to the 6 plus 2. And once again, just using this property, which equals 15x to the 8th power. But now, the reason why we want to use this property is for the following example. We would not want to write a string of 2,000 y's followed by a string of 1,200 y's. That would take forever, and it would take up a lot of space. So we learn these concepts to create shortcuts for us and simpler ways of doing really hard problems. So now, the way we're going to answer this, we're just going to use this product of powers property. First, we're going to do 4 times 6 is 24. And now, y to the 2,000 times y to the 1,200 is equal to y to the 2,000 plus 1,200. So now, this is going to simplify as 24y to the 3200th power. And this is going to be our final answer for the third example. So this just goes to show how effective this technique is because it saves us a lot of time for examples where we would need to write a ton, a ton of variables. So learn this property, it'll save you plenty of time. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on the product of powers property. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.